All right, there's a lot of talk and a lot of questions about merging and the mail merging in particular. Um, a lot of people want to know how to create letters and mail merge, and I'm just going to make a quick tutorial to touch base on that. So what is mail merging? Uh, mail merging is, is taking a file that has uh, data in it um, and kind of producing a mass amount of letters and labels that, that you don't have to manually do it uh, yourself, hand by hand, one by one. So let me just quick, quickly show you um, how to do it real fast. I'm going to start from scratch just to show you how easy it is and so you guys get the good picture. So let's first get our data, right? So let's get our recipients. So let me open up Excel real quick. Uh, and Excel is where we're going to get our recipients. So we're going to need the person's first name, right? First name, last name, address, city, state, and zip code. That's all. That's all we need uh, in order to mail merge. Uh, now let's let's do a bunch of people. Let's do uh, John, uh, John Smith. Let's do Jane Smith. Let's do. Uh, I'm using a lot of Smiths here. <laughs> um, let's do uh, Mark uh, Brown. Uh, let's do just for the heck of it, Bill. Gates, so let's do Steve Jobs, rest his soul. Uh, let's do uh, Steve Wozniak, let's do Barack Obama. Okay, so these are eight people, right? Really seven people because the first contains the headers. Remember that we must have headers in our file, right? Now let's give these guys a bunch of fake addresses. Um, let me just quickly. Uh, let me just make this really, really fast. Um, let's just, I'm just randomly giving these guys some addresses. Uh, let's see. Jane, John Smith lives on 1010 uh, First Ave. And let's say Jane lives on 1011 Second Ave. And let's say Mark is on Third Ave. And... Gates is on 4th Ave. Now, you have to type your recipient list unless you buy a list. You know, if you if you buy it, you're for marketing kind of guy. But if you're inviting people to something or, you know, these are for clients and you're exporting from another program, you need to have it in this format. Um, so let me just quickly do this. 1014 5th Ave. Uh, and let's do 1015 6th Ave. And... Barack Obama. Did I misspell his name, our president? Yeah, no, I didn't. It just looks funny. <laughs> it's a funny name. All right, seventh half. Okay, um, so now we have addresses, and uh, I'm going to make the city uh, Brooklyn, Bronx, oops, Bronx, Queens, Harlem, uh, Brooklyn, Queens, and Brooklyn again. Just random stuff. Um, state, I'm going to make it the state New York for all of them. Let's say all these guys live in New York. Uh, and the zip code 11001. Yeah, I'm just going to give it random zip codes. So make it fast, nice and fast. Okay, so I have a list here, and, and these are my recipients, right? So now I'm going to save this list, um, and I'm just going to save it to desktop as a CSV, okay? CSV is comma delimited file. You'll see that when you're in Excel and you save this, you'll want to go to save as type, right? And select CSV, okay? CSV, comma delimited, CSV. And I'm going to name this people, okay? So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to get a little pop-up uh, telling me this file type is not supported in workbooks that contain, contain multiple sheets. That's because I have sheet 2 and 3. I'm not even using 2 and 3. But I'm going to click OK, right? So click OK and click Yes. This error is perfectly normal. Um, let me just fix Obama's name. Happen to put his name in one thing. OK, so I'm saving it. After I save it, I click OK. When I exit out, it says, do you want to save? Uh, I already marked Yes. I usually just click Yes a bunch of times to confirm that I'm saving the file. So now I have a file. I have a file right here on my desktop called People. Um, that's CSV, okay? So this has eight people in it. Um, and now I want to make a mail merge. I want to merge these people to a letter. So let's use uh, Microsoft product. Let's use Word. And let's mail merge into Word. So I'm going to open Microsoft Word. And I'm going to go to, on the ribbon on top, you'll see that the Microsoft Word ribbon, 
very nice ribbon uh, there's a mailings tab on the ribbon so I'm gonna click on mailings right and you see where it says here start mail merge it's the second uh, selection first there is create and then there is start mail merge in start mail merge there's a button called select recipients right so we want to select that people file that we just made so I'm gonna click on select and I want to say use existing list and I'm gonna go to my desktop and I have here people, right? People.csv. So I'm going to open up people.csv. So now I have a recipient list in here, people.csv. Now, the next section where it says write and insert fields now has a bunch of icons in it. I'm going to get to that in one second. Let's do a letter real quick. Uh, let's, let's put, uh, you know, my information. Uh, I'm just going to give myself some random stuff. Okay, and, um, okay, so this is my information, right? So let me just quickly uh, format that. I'm going to make a quick, quick, quick letter. Um, yeah, let me take this and put it over here. And let's put in today's date. Let's go here um, and quickly write today. What is today? Today is Tuesday, I believe, right? So today is Tuesday. Okay, July 31st, 2012. So we're going to say dear, right, first name. This is a sample letter to you. Your address is, and we're going to merge the address in here for all our people. We're going to use this letter. You can put anything you want in this letter. That is the beauty of mail merging. You can mail merge to anything, any document. Um, this is just an out-of-the-box document. Um, so let's... Let's play with this now. So where we have dear, right? Let's go to our mailings tab and insert merge field. And we're going to say insert first name. And then we're going to say space, insert last name. And then we're going to put a comma. And then we're going to say your address is, and we're going to put in enter address, and then enter, and then city, comma, space, insert state, space, zip. Now let's preview our results. And take a look. Dear John Smith, this is a sample letter to you. Your address is 1010 First Ave, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, and then I can click this little arrow on top. It's the next record. I can preview it. So it's Dear Jane Smith in Bronx, New York. Next one is Dear Mark Brown in 3rd Avenue. Next one is Dear Bill Gates in 4th Avenue. And then Dear Steve Jobs, Dear Steve Wozniak, and finally um, Dear Barack Obama. So I have all these letters here now. Now I'm, I'm done. I mean, this, this is the whole mail merge. I can undo the preview. I can add formatting to this. I can highlight this and say I want their names in bold, right? And I want their address in bold. And I'm going to say thank you. Thank you for reading. I'm just going to end uh, this little letter in a note. Let me take off the bold of that. Okay, now let's preview this again with my little formatting. So in the mailing tab, everything is done in the mailing tab. I'm going to hit preview results. And take a look at my results. Dear John Smith, uh, your address is blah, 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 and next, 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 next. So I'm done. Now I'm finished. This is the whole mail merge. I can mail merge invoices. I can mail merge receipts. I can mail merge uh, bills, and, and I can mail merge anything. I can make welcome letters, thank you letters, uh, learn about this letters, you know, all, all kinds of letters. So this, this is how you mail merge in Word to a letter. All right, you go to your uh, select recipients, you use an existing list, the list you made in Excel, um, and then you just insert the headings. Notice that the insert merge field, right, the headings, they're uh, the first row of every column. So we had a row called first name, and inside was John, Jane, uh, Steve, Steve, uh, um, Barack Obama, right? Last name, we had uh, uh, Smith, Smith, yeah, let, let me go over this. The last name, we had Smith, Smith, Brown, Gates, Jobs, Wozniak, and Obama. And then we had address. And an address, I created a bunch of random addresses. Um, I created a bunch of stuff. I, I added in here, um, you know, all these 4th app, 3rd app. So all that merged, right? So this saves you time. This saves you a lot of time. You don't have to address all these letters. All of this is done for you already in, in, in Word. A uh, really beautiful thing. I mean, this is a really generic clutter. I came up with this in two seconds. But you get the idea. You, you did, this is the beauty of merging. Um, okay, so I'm done teaching you about Word. That's how you do it. It's very simple. You make the file in Excel, and you select the recipients uh, in Word. Um, 
and then you just insert the merge fields where you want them. I, I could write something like a uh, like hey and then i could put in um the name i can go insert merge field first name hey john uh you were late to work today and then when i preview this it's going to say hey john hey jane hey mark you were late to work hey bill you were late to work today All right so that's the beauty of merging you're merging the dynamic name in your list into a sentence or or a paragraph or you know some form of text it's very 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 nice when you're done with this you can either save it or um you can print it. You can print all your letters. Now, how do you do that? So on top, you see there is, right next to preview results, there is the finish section in the ribbon under mailings, right? And finish, you can choose to print documents or send all of these as an email, right? You can mass mail. I mean, if you add uh, the email field into the merge document, you could say send email messages and it will push through Outlook emails of this document to each and every single person. It's that powerful. Uh, it's actually very amazing. So that's that's what, what we're going to do. We're going to hit print, for example. And it's going to say, do you want to print all of them, or do you want to print just one of them? Do you want to print from 1 to one to 3, or do you want to print from 5 to 6? So you could do multiple things with this. Um, so let me end this Word uh, tutorial, and let me jump quickly into Publisher. Let's make some labels now. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to open up Microsoft Publisher, right? beautiful program publisher you can do so many things uh, and I'm gonna click on labels and I'm gonna click on the standard uh, 30 sheets uh, label size some brand new labels right 30 sheets and I'm gonna go to insert on the tab on the ribbon tab and I'm gonna insert a text box I'm just gonna draw a box right here and now I'm gonna go to mailings just like I did in Word I'm gonna click on select recipients just like I did in Word I'm gonna use an existing list the list is on my desktop it's called people. We just created it. We used it in Word. So it is delimited by comma. Remember we saved it as a CSV? We saved it as a CSV, and that means that there is a comma separator between each and every one of these fields. So CSV, just remember, C is for comma, right? So it's delimited by comma. And here's all the people right here. John, uh, John Smith, Jane Smith. I'm going to click OK because I'm verifying that these are my recipients. I'm going to click OK. Now, I'm going to go into that insert merge field, and I'm going to say insert first name, insert last name, enter, insert address, enter, insert city, comma, space, state, space, zip. Now let's preview our results. Check it out. I have my labels, all of them. Each and every person now has a label. Not only did we just make letters for these people, but we also made labels for them. So it's, it's a very, very nice thing. Uh, now, let's say, let's say I want to style this too. I want to highlight this. I want to make it bold, right? I'm going to make that bold. Uh, and now let's preview again. More professional. We have the name bolded and we have the address unbolded. And we can increase the fonts. We can make it different colors. We can, we can do custom labels for each one. Very, very nice thing. Very simple thing. Mail merging is a really, really wonderful thing. Once we have done this, now we can go to File. We can go to print, right? We can go to print, and we could say print multiple multiple pages per sheet. And here is the preview of all our labels. John Smith, Jane Smith, Mark Brown, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Barack Obama. We have labels for each and every one of them. Uh, this is a 30-page, 30 30-label 30, 30 sheet, and this is seven sh uh, labels out of the sheet. And it's a very, very cool thing. So now I can print that out in addition to my letters. And I can even make envelopes and print directly on the envelope. Remember, mail merging can be used for anything, any type of stickers. Uh, we're talking about uh, stickers, letters, labels, envelopes, um, anything you can think of. Uh, I hope this video helped get a good grasp uh, about mail merging, what it is. Uh, when I started this video, remember, I had nothing. I had absolutely nothing. Let me X this out real quick. Uh, I had nothing. I opened up a brand new Excel sheet and I created this list out of nothing, out of thin air. I just typed in first name, last name, address, city, state, and zip. You can additionally add more stuff in here. You could put in emails, right? You can go to email. You can type in uh, anything. You can put in uh, company name. You can put in ATTN, which is attention to. And all of these will become available when you mail merge. They'll become insertable fields in our merge. So that's pretty much it. I really wanted to show you also, if you had uh, mail in here, right, if you put addresses in here, like john at blah, blah, dot com, etc., 
in, in uh, Word, when we went to finish merging, and if we said merge to email, it would ask you what is the email field, right? And you would select email, and then it would email John the letter that we merged to their email. It'll mass email all these people that letter, just like you could print it out. Um, I like doing things from scratch because it, it gets to show you that, you know, I'm starting really where you're starting, which is where most people watching this video are probably starting from scratch. They have nothing and they want to know how to do this. So now you know how to mail merge. You can mail merge in uh, Publisher and Word. It's most commonly used in Publisher, believe it or not, for labels. But we use it in Word every day. Every day we have a list of people, customers, clients, accounts. Um, and we create generic letters and we just merge their information on these letters and we produce hundreds and thousands of letters and automatically fax them from our computers or mail them or email them um, or print them, of course. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate it. Subscribe if you enjoyed. I have plenty of other great videos. Uh, and again, thank you. Bye.